from a young age, I was fascinated by how atoms come together to create everything around us. Plants, animals, even us, people. This curiosity drove me to pursue a bachelor in pharmaceutical sciences in Libya, a master in drug design in Egypt, and eventually a PhD in molecular imaging and biophysics in UK, funded by a grant from the Egyptian government. It was there I first discovered the world of atomic force microscopy, or AFM, a remarkable tool that allows us to discover the world at an atomic level. Let me take you in a journey to the hidden world. At the heart of life itself, so let us explore the hidden world at the heart of life itself. Today, I am excited to tell you how we are using extremely tiny gold nanoparticles to treat cancer and viral diseases in ways you might never have imagined. These gold nanoparticles are so small about 10,000 times thinner than a single human hair. We use them to treat cancer. We are using atomic force microscopy, a very powerful tool of imaging. This microscope has a very sharp probe. The probe sometimes is one atom at the apex. The AFM uses the probe to touch the gold nanoparticles atom by atom, and touches the DNA atom by atom. And then, if they interact together, we image the interaction on a single molecule with a single gold nanoparticle. During my PhD, I dove deep in the world of the atomic force microscopy. And I worked with a company known for studying molecular behavior in their environment, in their natural environment. One of my biggest challenges was to capture an image for a single gold nanoparticle, sometimes we call it nanosphere, and a single DNA separated from each other in one picture. Our goal was to provide a standard method for scientists around the world to measure these small molecules in their natural environment accurately. One of the challenge, one of the challenges was that the probe, when the probe imaged the DNA, it would press down on the DNA, changing its structure. But can't do this with the solid gold nanoparticle. That's why if we manage to image both of them in the same frame, we can measure the size of the gold nanoparticle accurately and adjust for the size of the DNA. And advancing our measurements. But imaging a single gold nanoparticle is extremely hard. As billions of the gold nanoparticles appear at once in the image, as you see, so many molecules. They even can cover the DNA and bury it. So we have to keep diluting the sample until just few gold nanoparticles are remained on the surface. 
and few DNA molecules remained on the same imaging field. And since we are imaging by touching, so we will look for the gold nanoparticles as if we are looking for a needle in a haystack. But in spite of these challenges, I successfully managed to image a single gold nanoparticle and a single DNA molecule in the same picture and advancing our measurements. I also got recognized as an atomic force microscopy expert while pursuing my PhD. Surprisingly, I found that when the gold nanoparticle approaches a DNA molecule, it immediately interacts with it and changing its structure. Even thought that wasn't the target of my measurements. Years later, Professor Mustafa Said from Georgia Tech was awarded the National Medal of Science for, for his pioneering work in the field of nanotechnology, particularly on his work with gold nanoparticles in cancer treatment using photothermal treatment. Photothermal treatment, simply in photothermal treatment, we design gold nanoparticle to target specific cancer cells and avoid the healthy cells. When all of these cells are exposed to the laser, laser light, gold nanoparticles within the cancer cells generate heat. This heat burns the cancer cells and kill them. Once the cancer are killed, the body will clear them naturally. Many of the gold nanoparticles are then cleaned and cleared naturally, but not all of them. Scientists are still working to improve this percent and to provide more safer and effective Treatment. In 2024, it is expected that two million people will be diagnosed with cancer. And sadly, about 612,000 will die from cancer this year. These numbers are not just statistics. Those are our beloved ones, our neighbors, our friends, our society, our country. Any breakthrough in cancer treatment brings hope to many families who are worried about a diagnosis. This photothermal treatment by applying laser on gold nanoparticle within cancer cells is very promising. However, it has limitation. The laser is not always able to reach deep cancer. And we have to control the amount of heat released from the gold nanoparticles to avoid burning the healthy cells in the neighborhood. For this reason, we have to discover another way for treating cancer using gold nanoparticles. Reflecting on my previous work, where I didn't fully explore the effect of the gold nanoparticles on DNA, I now decided to dive deep in this area and use the atomic force microscope to explore whether gold nanoparticles are able to destroy the DNA in the absence of laser or not. 
And how quick is this process? When I did that, I watched as you watch here. The gold nanoparticles, orange or red features, are immediately, have immediately attracted and attached to the DNA stand and immediately broke it apart within minutes without the need of laser. But this doesn't only stop with DNA. We also made experiments on RNA, including viral RNA, including COVID-19. And we found that gold nanoparticles can also damage the RNA. To conclude, our work with the atomic force microscopy and gold nanoparticles has unlocked a new way of treating cancer diseases and viral diseases without the application of laser. This means that we can target cancer cells anywhere in the body, whether superficial or deep. And we can treat viruses, even COVID-19. But it's not only science. This discovery also brings hope. A hope that no life will be lost because of a disease we couldn't reach or we couldn't treat. A hope to provide safer and more effective treatments to save lives. I, I love and my deepest wish is to ignite that same hope in you. I invite you to support this research, to spread the awareness, to help shape the future of medicine. Together, we can make a difference. Thank you.